Hey there, what is going on guys? Kirby here and today I'm going to be showing you a, a quick tutorial here on how to, well hopefully quick, how to make a, a Minecraft thumbnail. I'm going to be showing you two ways. The first way being a th series thumbnail in this design. Now that'll be the second way. And the first way being a single video like this, um, a mod showcase, something like that. Um, something that's not a series and it'll be like this. I'll tend to fo I'll tend to focus mine more on like a mod showcase or something but um it works for really anything and this isn't just kind of for Minecraft you can do this for any game really it works um but obviously the focus here it will be on Minecraft because um that's what I am best at um but I also do have you know it works for other games as well like you see I have one for Towncraft here um which is the basic game um I have one for The Sims 4 here and it definitely works for really any game. So let's get into this here. The first thing I need to say is that I will um this does involve plugins for paint.net because it is kind of limited without them. Um they're very easy to download and I'll link them all in the description below. So um yeah. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is create a new image and you want to size it at 1280 by 720 pixels and you want to make sure the maintain aspect radio is off because ratio is <laughs> maintain aspect ratio is not clicked because if it is, it'll resize the picture for you. But just make sure it is um, 1280 by 720 pixels for a uh YouTube thumbnail. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to be putting a screenshot in there. I have my own screenshot pack that you can download on my website if you want to check that out. You can, um, but there's also other people's. You can find them on YouTube and whatnot. Um, I will be making a video about my screenshot pack very soon within the upcoming week or so, and you can definitely check that out. It's free, so don't worry about that. Um, let's just choose a random screenshot here. As you can see, I have a big selection. There's about 300 screenshots in this pack, um, and some of them are sized perfectly for thumbnails like this. So for these, I like to put the text down in this corner down here, but leave a little space over here because in you uh, on YouTube, there'll be a little timestamp down here, I believe. Um, on your channel and you don't want it to cover the text here um, you want to choose a color that will stand out for your text generally a yellow is fine blue red anything that doesn't mix into the background here like green probably won't work um, unless I add a blur to the background which I tend to do for these thumbnails anyway but we'll just use a yellow because I'm gonna be making a lucky block thumbnail here and yellow works um, you want your your text to be you want your text to be centered using this uh, center align tool here and then just want to drag it down here into the corner I'll probably make it slightly bigger maybe 120 a 120 so oh, not that big 125 yeah 125 will work out perfectly fine excuse me and then the next thing you want to do is select this text using the magic wand tool. If you hold down shift and click, it'll select all those letters for you. And then click add a new layer. Go down here and click the shapes tool or click the O button on your keyboard. And then um, click up here. You want to click the draw filled shape tool and you want to click the ellipse button, circle button, or you can use uh, rectangle it tends to work fine as well click black on your colors layer and then fill over that not going on to the bottom layer either and then fill over that as well you can adjust the size of those to how you think it'll look fine and then you just out click that select your layer here for me it's layer 3 you can rename it whatever if you want uh, you can double click it or you can click down here on the properties tool and you dro drag down the opacity for most of them, like white, I'll do around 60, but for yellow, I tend to do around 51, 50, like 51 to 57 usually tends to look good, depending on how much shadow I want. I'll use 56, um, and then I'll just 
click the merge down layer make sure it's right above the the yellow layer here and then click the merge down layer and you're good to go for for that for now now I'm going to select a uh, my um, render here for renders you can use either you know Minimator is a free program blender is a free program cinema for cinema 4d is not free but you know there's torrents out there I'm not suggesting that though don't do illegal things <laughs> Although I have Cinema 4D myself, and I will copy and paste that into the thumbnail here. Using Control V works perfectly for that. There we go, and we'll make them a little bit bigger here. Make them as big as you want. Make them as small as you want. I like to use my waving guy here, just because I think it looks good for these types of thumbnails. I'm gonna make him quite large for this thumbnail and cut him off at his hip so that's good that's that's fine for him and now I want to copy and paste a minecraft logo to the background here and I'm gonna do that behind everything else this is gonna be quite large if you uh, copy and paste something that's quite large just hit keep canvas size and then drag it down to the size that you want it and then that's fine and then I'm going to go into my effects folder object align um, this is in the Vandermotten plugin. And I'm going to do object align horizontally, and that'll make it right in the middle. I'm actually going to make this slightly bigger. I want it to cover most of the ground here, slightly smaller. There we go. You can play around with it like that. And I'm going to do object align horizontally again, and there it is, right in the middle. So now for the text, I want to make this slightly bigger because I want it to take up a little bit more space and I want it to be visible. Typically, I'll add like an exclamation point at the end. Um, for this one, I just didn't do it. I don't know why. I just guess I just forgot to add it. But it'll it'll make it look a little bit more happy. <laughs> the little things um, that you add into thumbnails definitely do help out a lot. So for this now, I'm going to keep it on layer two here, my text layer, and I'm going to get object object drop shadow. I'm not going to do an object outline, which is in the bolt pa bolt bait plugin I'm gonna do a drop shadow plug uh, the drop shadow plugin which is in the, in the Vandermont and plugin back and I'm just gonna click that and you'll see why in a second the outline in the um, outline actual outline object tends to add a little zigzag to it kind of type deal this one often does not all you have to do is uh, you can make it blur. You can make. You can definitely do a drop shadow like that if you want to, um, if that looks fine. But actually, that looks kind of good. <laughs> but I'm gonna do an outline just to show you how I do it. You uh, drag the blur radius all the way down, and then it just does an automatic outline. There's no blur to it, and you can uh, make it bigger by using the widening radius. And it definitely looks better than the outline tool, in my opinion. And there you have it. So from there. I will typically add a blur to it. Um, Average Blur Works is also in the Vandermont and Plugin Pack. So if you just want to get the Vandermont and Plugin Pack, it's fine. And then I can blur the background, or you know, I can add something on top and um, bring the opacity level down. There's tons of different things. And there you go, the focus is on that. Now, if I wanted to, I could even add in, you know, a lucky block to the background of this which is what I would typically do and um, you know play around with it a little bit and um, you know add in the, the lucky blocks here maybe like right below here and just continuously add them kind of like I did here or with the arrows here that's uh, definitely something that you could you can mess around with but you know just text works as well so if you're gonna do this for another game you would put the game logo back here or just put the game name back here with regular text um, maybe put the title of that that video right here and something from the game right here you can tend to find things on Google um, or you can uh, you know edit your own picture or whatever but something right here or underneath here you know that's just the basic the basic way if you want to use this type of design words here logo here picture here and uh, maybe pictures underneath items underneath so now I'm gonna show you how I do these this type of thumbnail here so I'm going to do file new here 
1280 by 720 okay let's get a different screenshot for this one I don't know let's go with the chicken <laughs> we'll copy and paste him into there that's always what I do first I always put my screenshot in first unless it's uh, you know already made and let's go into the shapes tool here and select the rectangle and um, shape draw slash fill mode we want it to be filled so let's go ahead and just choose a random color blue works fine and make a rectangle going across there and then you may want to make a nether rectangle coming out right here not too big but not too small either and then you want to make another one and then for this one you're going to drag it sideways by right clicking uh, and make it diagonal here and then expand it so that it kind of makes a diagonal line there there's other ways to do this as well if you play around with it but this is kind of the uh, simplest way to show and then that's fine for now I'm gonna leave that like that for now and then I'm gonna add another layer and with whatever color you want to use I'll just use white and just write survival there and I'm going to center that or I can put it over here over here whatever looks good I'm just gonna use the center just because it looks fine and once again object align center horizontally I'm gonna add in my character now you can do this whenever you want um, at the end works fine but I'm just gonna do it now I'm gonna make them nice and big here put them right wherever looks fine that looks fine and then once again I'm going to mess around with the text here magic wand tool black shape tool add layer we'll just use a rectangle for this one just to make it simple on us since it was already selected drop it down uh, 60 looks fine merge layer and then we'll add an outline to that right now since I see this is the outline layer see it doesn't look too bad on this one um, but with the actual drop shadow you can make the the outline much thicker and it just looks more smooth so I suggest using that but you can use whatever you want whatever you think whatever is easier for you all right and then add a logo here let's add the white one and put it below that layer control V make it a little bit smaller you want the focus to be on what the title of the video is and then let's do an object align here that's centered okay so that's really all you're gonna do you know you can add into it some effects here you can bring this over here um, there's tons of different ways you can do this you know you can make it like this if you really want to um, there's different ways to do this I think that looks fine it's definitely a basic thumbnail if you want like I tend to add like effects into the background though um, and then for this this is kind of the main focus here that makes it different you wanna add you know a black outline looks fine and then on that so you just add the outline to that and that looks definitely fine you can make it a drop shadow if you want that's fine too um, and then you wanna add in some uh, text here so, uh, the the episode number so um, I like to do zero zero one rather than just one um, or you can you know do zero one or you can just do like number number one like this uh, I don't know if this yeah this some of the some of the fonts don't have don't have it but you know if you do like number one something like that that'll work um, whatever you want to do whatever you think looks best I like to do zero zero one so you got go ahead and select that like we did before nope select that there we go and just do the text like I did previously there we go lower this down to 60 something that's fine unselect that merge effect object drop shadow outline there we go 
So um, for this, you can you can add in like textures here. Um, say if I wanted to do that. Um, generally, I would use like a shape. We'll just use this for right now, though. You just add the layer and then do Control V and do it like that. And then what I would do is go back down to here. I select this and then select the black outline. So if I were to get rid of that, you can see that that's what's selected. And then go here and just hit delete. And it'll, you can see that. And then from here, you can mess around with this, multiply, additive, all these different things. Do whatever you think want, looks good, or you can just lower the opacity if you want to. And it'll look like that. Obviously, I probably wouldn't go with this for this thumbnail. It doesn't look the greatest, but I made it really quickly. Um, but mess around with it and do everything you want to do with it. This is just a quick one. You know, they look like this. You can do just a box up here. Mess around with the writing in there. There's tons of different ways. I definitely think these look these look the best, but for series thumbnails, these are the easiest. You don't have to really mess around with them too much. Just whenever you make it, you just go ahead and click save, save as, and save it as a PDN file. And you can edit the the number whenever you want. So definitely makes it pretty easy to make a series thumbnail like this rather than you know continuously having to make thumbnails for this but they're pretty quick and painless to make um, pretty simple I hope my explanation made it easy for you guys um, and I hope that uh, helped you out um, once again thanks for watching if you want to download my screenshot pack go ahead to my Wix website down below click on downloads and you can download it and there's a very very old um, thumbnail on there that doesn't look very good anymore to my standards at least um, that you can check out and I'll probably add this one here without the minecraft character I'll just delete this layer and save it <laughs> with the chicken and um, you guys can download this one as well so I will do that I will upload this onto that Wix website for you guys and you guys can can check that out if you want so I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this helped you out a little bit um, I'll leave that for you guys I'll also leave this one I'll just expand this text and you guys can download this as well Ooh, not that not that whoops whoops, whoops. nope no nope, I did it again I did it again <laughs> there we go you can download this uh, lucky blocks thing as well so I hope that helped I'm gonna go now Alright, I'm out of here. <laughs> See ya.